Hello, everyone. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. How are you this evening? Hello, teacher. I'm good. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Doing good. I'm starting to see some of you. Gabrielle, Arocio, Iris, Karen, Roberto. There you are. Hi, Karen. How have you been? I've been great. Thanks for mm -hmm. asking. Who's asking me that? Wilbur, right? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm starting mm -hmm. to recognize your voices. That's good. Okay. Well, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. How was today? Oh, it's our last class of the week, right? And then we have two more weeks to go and that's it. Are you excited? It's almost weekend. It's almost the weekend. Mm. <laughs> no. I'm excited. <laughs> All the days are the same. All days are the same. Not really. You don't have to work on the weekend, so that's something. You can watch Netflix. I don't know. Do something. Oh, yeah, but in El Salvador, it's really complicated right now. That's true. You can't go out. Yes, so. some of us are not working these uh, are days. You not, are you not working, Wilbur? Um, no, I'm not working. You don't have a job Since right now? quarantine started. But you do have a job. Yes, I do. Oh, well, that's good. Imagine being unemployed. So, yeah, it will be terrible. Okay, well, I see everyone except Amy. So, whenever you're ready, Amy, let's begin. Okay, we're talking about favors. So, we'll see the polite forms of asking for favors, right? You have your notebooks ready. We're on section 3.3. Okay, get your notebooks. Let's take notes because we're going to practice this afterwards. So, let's watch. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to ask for favors using models, if clauses, and gerunds. The main goal is to learn how to make requests in different forms. So we all make requests to our friends, family members, as well as our manager at work. And the way that we make this request tends to change depending on how we're addressing the person and who we're addressing, right? And the level of confidence that you have with the person. So for example, if you're asking a very close friend to lend you $5, usually you'll make the request by simply saying, can I borrow $5? I'll pay you back tomorrow. However, if you're asking your manager to give you an extra day off, you'll typically ask by saying, I wonder if I could take an extra day off. And the reason is simple. It's because it's not what you say, but how you say it. It's more likely that if you ask in a very polite manner, you'll get what you want. In certain cases, of course. So that's what we're going to learn today. So let me introduce uh, some structure. This topic, by the way, it's quite simple. Uh, what we want to do is we want to use uh, models, we want to use if clauses and gerunds. So just uh, uh, let me point out what those are. Uh, just a quick reminder, you're probably familiar with this already. Uh, but what are, uh, so what are models? Well, those are models are uh, those model verbs that you see there, can, uh, could, and also would, right? Uh, and um, if clauses, well, those those are simply uh, whenever you see do you mind if, right? Whenever you see this word, that's what we refer to uh, an if clause. Um, and then uh, the last thing that uh, we want to learn there is how to use gerunds to make this kind of request. Uh, and so that's that example that you see there. Would you mind? letting me use your laptop okay and what we mean by this is that we're gonna use a gerund right so would you mind after would you mind um, we're gonna have to use a gerund and I'm gonna quickly point that out here in a second so let me just quickly point out the examples that we see here so as you can see we on the left we see that 
if I use the expression, can I borrow your pencil? That is something that I will typically ask a friend, someone that I'm very close to, right? So it's uh, uh, an informal way. It's not rude, by the way. It's, it's simply uh, the other ways to ask are just a bit more polite. Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Is it okay if I use your phone? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrow your digital camera? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? I wonder if I could borrow some money. Um, and finally, um, I was wondering if you mind lending me your car. So again, um, these are just different ways that you can ask for things. Uh, and what we want to learn today is how to use all of these different ways, how to use um, models, if clauses, and gerunds to um, make requests, right? So what I will do is I will give you a situation. And so uh, for today's class, the situation is that you want to borrow $20 from a friend. Okay, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going uh, we're gonna, to uh, make the request uh, using all of the different forms that you see there, right? Uh, it's not to say that you're going to use that with the friend usually with the friend someone that's kind of close to you or very close to you it, it all depends you will typically just say hey can I borrow twenty dollars from you right um, but uh, as I mentioned uh, previously if you are asking your boss for an extra day off uh, usually you'll try to find a more polite way to ask um, for um, that um, so let's let's do the example. How how are we going to do this? So well, uh, what's the um, less formal way of doing it? Well, you can say, "Can I borrow twenty dollars?" That's quite simple, right? Um, the other way could be, "Could you lend me twenty dollars?" Right. So I'm just notice that I'm using um, the model verbs, the uh, the words that are in gray, that are grayed out. That's what I'm using. Um, another way could be, is it okay if I borrow twenty dollars? All right, and uh, what could be another way? Well, we can say, do you mind if I borrow twenty dollars? Okay. Would it be okay if I borrow twenty dollars? Um, and in this case, I quickly want to point out, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but um, in this case, what we did is we changed the verb to the past, as you, got, as you can see there. And the reason um, is quite simple. Simply, um, whenever we make this kind of request, remember that what we're trying to do is we're trying to sound more polite. So. Uh, by us changing the verb to the past, this makes that request even more polite, right? Now, this doesn't mean that you cannot make the request without changing that verb to the past. You can do that if you want. So you could say, would it be okay if I borrow $20? You don't necessarily need to change that to the past. However, um, we're learning that um, we're going to change it to the past in order to sound more polite, right? Will be another way to say this. Well, we can say, um, "Would you mind if I borrow twenty dollars?" That's another way of, of saying it. Um, and I want you to pay special attention to the next expression: "Would you mind lending me twenty dollars?" So in this case, whenever you see "Would you mind?" the expression "Would you mind?" without the if, right? Whenever you see the expression "Would you mind?" This is always going to follow a gerund. So it's always going to follow a gerund. Would you mind lending me $20? The example that we see uh, in this little chart is, would you mind letting me use your laptop, as you can see? So we had to change the verb let to um, a gerund. Uh, and let me just point out the other two examples there. So those would be, I wonder if I could borrow $20. And I was wondering if you mind lending me twenty dollars. Okay, and as you can see, I also 
um, highlighted this in red because um, after we see the word mine or the verb mine, then this is going to follow uh, a gerund. What I would like for you to do is to make requests with the models, the if clauses, and the gerunds. Uh, so let's say, for example, I, I gave you the, these are all situations. Let me just point out that these are situations. Okay? Uh, could you lend me some money for a soda? Is it okay if you lend me some money for a soda? Right? This is the situation, and what I would like for you to do is to use all of these model verbs and all of those if clauses and all of those gerunds that you can see there in order to make those requests. The idea here is to practice. So I think after this long explanation, it's clear how you're going to conjugate, right? And we're going to use this as a motto. So make sure you're using the right conjugations, okay? I will send you this, just this. And uh, for instance here, you know, you're going to use the past, right? Past, gerund, ing, okay? Because after mind, you always use ing, a past. And so on. Okay. After in mind, ing, always ing. So what we're gonna do is with the favors I sent you last night. Now we're gonna pretend to be asking them. All right. Be asking for. Can I favors. ask you a question? Sure. Go ahead. It, which is the difference between to borrow and to lend? I didn't get it. Okay. Uh, look, borrow. Borrow is when you ask for something. And lend is when you give something. So, for example, I need to borrow, or I can say, uh, who's asking me that question, by the way? What's your name? Glenda. Glenda. Glenda, okay. So I can say, hey, Glenda, can I borrow? Because I'm the one receiving it. Okay. In Spanish, it's Tomar prestado. Okay. So can I borrow your science book? I don't know. Science book. And you would say, well, sure. I'll lend it to you. Is that clear? Yes, it is. Thank you. Right. Yeah, we Teacher, use the same word. Can right you here. also? Mm -hmm. Can you also say, uh, Glenda, can you lend me some money? Uh huh. Yeah, I can say that. Right. But it would be can you, not can I, right? Can yeah, you? Yeah. 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 Can you lend me? Yeah, you can totally use both. Can you lend me some money? And All right. do you have other questions? Nope. Nope. Okay. No teacher. So, um, yeah, let's practice with this, with the favors I sent last night. So you're going to see this time we're going to go from less formal to more formal. But this is not only in this situation. It's not only a matter of formality. It's also a matter of what favor you're asking for. So if you notice, this is can I borrow your pencil? You're not going to say, I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your <laughs> pencil, right? <laughs> It's like, okay, here you go. It's not a big deal, right? So here you go. So it's not only a matter of who you're talking to, whether it's formal or not, but what the favor includes or what it, um, what it consists of. Is that, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so true. So yeah, let's look at the favors. And if you can think of other examples, because I would like you to use a, all of them to ask a favor. So let's pretend we're asking for favors, okay? In a group of three. Ready? Yes. Alrighty. Let's practice then. Here we go. Um, mm -mm, yep. Accept the invitation, please. Check the images. Let's practice.
see today. And Jose, how was your day? It was fine. Okay. I didn't work today. So it was fine. Okay. Hey, who's playing salsa? What kind of music is this? Bachata. I don't know. Let's start with Sorry. an example. Yeah, let's start. Um, you know, because a car is not like a cell phone or a jacket. So, would you try using another request? But Just to break. you are my friend. What do you say? Well, no, but if you are, was. but if you are my best friend. Uh -huh. Oh, if I am your best friend. Uh huh. Yes. Well, it would be all yeah, right. Okay. But to uh, practice, because we don't commonly use the ones at the bottom, we're more used to using the first ones, right? To practice, let's try to use the ones at the bottom as well. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because one day you're going to have to talk to your boss in English, hopefully one day, right? Or somebody. <laughs> so you want to be very polite. Yes. That's true. <laughs> but all. We're great, thanks. Right. Talking about. Talking what about are you doing? I am, I am in. Trying to make some samples about uh, the request with models. Okay. Let the teacher send the pictures in WhatsApp. Okay, let me check. I have the group in mute. So I. Can I borrow your visa, Roberto? <laughs> oh, I am wondering if you let me use your car. Okay. 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 Um, I will say, could you please drive me to the airport? It is okay if I if I use your shoes today. I say, is it is it okay? <laughs> is it? Uh -huh, that's is a question. It, is it? Okay is it? If I use. Is a question. Uh -huh. No, but I was wondering about. <laughs> <laughs> if it's okay with Robert. you, I would like to drink a coffee. So, do you mind? <laughs> Today we're yeah. talking with a teacher, would you mind? <laughs> what are you mind? saying about me? <laughs> that I was wondering if you mind buying me a coffee. Yeah, I can share some of my tea with you. Here. here you go. You can share one. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd mind buying me a coffee. That's very polite. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But maybe no one is going to 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 ask in that way to share. Uh, yeah. Or you, you may, maybe could be I, if uh, if you don't know the person to be right. Yeah. You know what? I would like you to practice yes. the ones, the expressions at the bottom because um, they're the ones that we don't use. We're used to using "could you," "would you please," but we don't use the ones at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So let's try to practice those more. Okay, in the formal way. Mm -hmm. Okay, the other example is treat me to a movie. Okay. So in this case, can be would it be okay if you treat me to a movie? Treat me. Yeah. Treat me is like invite me. But you know oh, what? Uh, also, uh, treat is to pay, Karen. Because if I invite you, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, well, <laughs> so, yeah. treat, treat, treat is in the pay. Treat and means you are going to pay. And uh, Juan, I was going to say that usually when you say, is it okay? You're asking for yourself. So is it okay if I use your laptop? Is it okay if I um, take your car or something? So you usually ask for yourself, not for the other person. Is it okay if you? No, is it okay if uh, I? Okay. So this case can... Can yeah. be, would you mind? Uh, would you mind when, when, treating me to a movie? Treating me to the movie. When you're going to invite someone, right, Tisha? 
No, it doesn't have anything to do. What I'm saying is that the expression, is it okay? You usually say, is it okay if I, because it's like asking for permission. So you don't ask for permission yeah. for, you see, I cannot ask for permission for one. I'm asking for myself or maybe someone else. I can say, is it okay if Karen joins you? Okay. okay. I can ask for someone else or for myself, but not for the person I'm speaking with. Uh -huh. That's what I meant. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Oh, teacher, sorry, uh, I I am uh, I turn off my camera because of the internet. Ah, you're trying to save some internet, All right. I, I I can I can hear you better without uh, video. Yes, that makes sense. All right, we'll do the exception. Don't worry. <laughs> Karen, you haven't been absent, have you? Sorry? You haven't been absent, have you? No. Absent from class? No. Okay. I'm always present, teacher. <laughs> I know. Inmar, what about you? I always see you, Inmar. Have you been absent? No, teacher. Not even once, so. right? Juan Francisco? No, no. I think you have yes. an absent. Okay, yeah, I do it. Yeah, Inmar, I see you every night. Yeah. I guarantee. <laughs> Great. All right. Go ahead, guys. I'm going to check over people. Okay. Thank okay. you, teacher. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. I'm born wrong. Could you please do it. <laughs> some, Could you please lend me some tea, teacher? <laughs> you want me to lend it to you? <laughs> then you're going to have to pay me back, so... Oh, really? Okay. Uh, maybe you could say, no, because that is the meaning of blend. I'm just saying that. So maybe oh, yeah, you yeah. could say, like, is it okay if I have some of your tea? If I have some of your tea, okay. Or okay. would you mind uh, sharing some of your tea with me? Okay. I would totally okay. not mind, Carlos. Unfortunately, I can't. But I would okay. share <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever tried mate? Yes, I, I actually I love it. Oh, uh, a couple of years ago, I had a, I have friends from Argentina and they Argentina. give me the thing Argentina. They give me the the mate and the herbs and the herbs, right? And where herbs. did you meet them? I'm that sorry. Works? How did you meet your friends? How did you guys meet? Where did you meet? No, we, um, I I used to work in Infocentros. I don't know if you know what is what that is. Infocentros. Like, it, it was like a. Rhythm? It was like a cyber cyber coffee, something like that. So, um, yeah, I think in the U.S. they're called uh, internet cafes. Exactly. So I I used to work uh, many years ago. And they they were customers, and yeah. we become friends. We became. Became. became All right. Friends. Okay. Awesome. Are you almost done? You probably practice all of them already, right? Yes, we are yeah. almost. Okay. Mm. Okay. Do one more, please. Try to use the most polite ones. Do you mind if? Help me move into my new apartment. Kate, you would say, do you mind helping me? After mind, the helping me. use ING. Yeah. Yes, helping me. Katya, yeah, I finally see you. Yeah, sorry, teacher. Wow. No, I know you sent <laughs> me messages explaining. I understand. My internet is failed. Yeah. All this time. Okay, if I respond to your mm -hmm. request, I will do, I will say I don't mind at all. I have time and I can help you out. Oh, thank wow. you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you are so cute. Am I being, am I being polite too, teacher? <laughs> yeah, you're being very polite and very fluent. That's what I like. Yeah, and okay. Katya, you wouldn't say cute because... <laughs> <laughs> it's my friend, suppose. <laughs> Supposedly, yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, suppose, suppose. in general, you can say you're so sweet or that's so kind so of sweet. you. Yeah. Ah, okay. 
Because cute is more like um, about the, the physical aspect of a person about appearance and looks so maybe not right <laughs> no i'm not saying that it's not your case wilbur i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> no it's okay no problem <laughs> no i'm saying maybe that's not what you mean all right that's what i'm saying <laughs> i'm okay. not implying that you're not <laughs> okay all right we're gonna go back now let's go okay okay We have a question. Who is we? <laughs> Miss Ellen, right? Okay, go ahead. Yes. Tell me. What is the difference between home and house? Um, the same as Spanish. Home is your family and where you feel comfortable, and the house is a physical place. Okay. Yeah, but you would usually say, you know, something characteristic about home is this look that you don't use at right you don't usually use at so you say i'm going home and not to you don't use any prepositions right i'm home or i'm at home if you want to say you're there so i left home i left home at six for some reason, when you use home, you don't use prepositions. I don't know why. But if you use house, right, I left my house at, then you would use something. I'm going home. Yep. So that is the difference. Is that clear? Sort? Yeah. Okay, so did you guys practice all of these? Yes, to sure. Yes, yes, we did. Awesome. I would advise you to write some of them, especially with "Do you mind?" and all the way down, because those are the ones you're probably not using. And one day, if you're not already working in English, you're gonna do so, or you're gonna live in another country. So you want to be very polite, right? Because people are polite when they're speaking English more than we are in Spanish, probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. It varies depending That's on the culture. <laughs> All right, so let's do this with the right conjugation. So pay close attention. Um, I think this requires what well, it's only for. Let's do it as a group. So read the instructions, please. Cat, Catherine, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, complete the following request, request with modal if clause and gerunds. Example. You want to borrow your co-workers understand camera. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, do you write the whole request only on the com complete completion of it? Make sure you, you use the content spelling and punctuation. Do you want to use punctuation? All right, punctu punctuation. Yeah, punctuation. All right, number one, Glenda. You want to use your roommate's computer? It is okay. Mm, it has, uh, is it? Is it okay? So I can ask for it. Like, uh, can I use my roommate com roommate's computer? Yeah, or you're gonna... do I need to use th this? Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it okay if I use your computer? Is it okay if I use your, your um, computer? computer? Like this, right? Okay, number two. Let's see who. Gonna do this. Carlo. Mm -hmm. Me? Okay, and would you mind? Would you mind if if your neighbor to if you get would give a ride to work? Would you mind if 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 your neighbor 
to give you a right to work? No, this is what you want to do. You want your neighbor to give you a right to work. So what are you going to ask him directly? Would you mind if... Give me... Ah, this is probably would you mind? Would you mind yeah. giving me a right to work? Uh, would you mind giving me? Would you mind giving me a right to work? Yeah, but this is incorrect though. After mind to give me. Giving me. Giving me. After mind we're giving me. I'm gonna use ing. Giving me a right to work. Yeah, that's the one. Very good. Yeah. Uh -uh. Let's see. Leila. Could you could you could you help me to move to move on set? No. Just help you move, so help me move. Mm -hmm. Could you help me move on Saturday? On Saturday. Let's try that. And Katia. I was wondering if you'd mind giving me a second piece of pie. <laughs> That sounds like something I would ask. I, see. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd mind giving me a second piece of pie. Piece of pie. All right. I was wondering if you'd please. mind with a please at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love pie? Come on. Pumpkin pie. Apple pie. Yeah. All right, so look, this one doesn't have any question mark, right? Because it's not a question. It says, I was wondering, this is not a question. This could, would, and is it okay are obviously questions, so you're going to use a question mark, okay? So does everybody have the answers? Yes. That is section 3.4. That is where we should be, how far we should be. All right, now uh, 3.5. Read the objective, please. I have another lady read this. It is. It is? Iris. Okay, Blanca Figueroa. She just left. Hi. So, Blanca. Yes. By the end of this class, you will develop skills in listening for specific information. Listen to requests, listen to the telephone conversation. Very good. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to answer the following questions. So it's better for you to read the questions before you listen. Let's read only the questions, okay? Uh, Amy. What does Tina want to borrow from Robert? A bread mark? Thank you. Okay. Linda. You're on mute. Okay. What does Kylie want to borrow from Maggie? Raul. Uh, what kind of favor does Phil want? Great. All right, let's listen and answer. Everybody should be with me on this section, uh, section 3.6, okay? So we can complete this. You know, I was choosing the people based on a criteria. Whoever was yawning like this, I was calling their names to participate. <laughs> so if I see you doing that, I'll call your name. <laughs> All right, let's listen, here we go. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you will develop skills in listening for specific information. After listening to the audio program, you will complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three requests. Your task is to write down what each caller requests and identify whether the person agrees or disagrees to the request. 
Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. <laughs> My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So, what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. <sighs> Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know, Polly. My bird? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy and they make a lot of noise and. No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. Alrighty, so number one. A camera. What does Tina want to borrow from Robert? A camera. 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 Two. Bread maker. Bread maker. Bread maker. Not a bird, right? Can I borrow your bird? <laughs> I don't see anybody asking for that. Three, what kind of favor does Phil want? The first one. To take care of my bird. Take care, take care yeah. of his bird. Well, he's away. Okay, let's see. And that is right. Yay. Okay. Now, fun topic to get started with. I'll read the objective, it's so short. By the end of this class, you will learn indirect requests. Direct. Do you know what those are? Mm -hmm. No? Well, we're gonna know right now. We'll see what it is about. Okay, you're gonna get introduced to this topic. I don't think we're gonna finish it tonight, but we're gonna work on it next week, okay? So, it's a six minute video. I need you to take notes on the structure, all right? Maybe not examples, but the structure, conjugation, so that when you do your examples or practice, you do it right. So, get a notebook ready, and let's watch, okay? Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll learn how to make indirect requests. We will focus on turning statements into indirect requests. Now let's discuss what indirect requests are. So indirect requests means that you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Let's say for example you call a person and the person is not there um, and you leave a message for that person. Well this is what we call an indirect request so let me present some structure if you see the chart on the screen we can see how this structure changes depending on the type of sentence so if we have statements imperatives yes and no questions and wh questions those will be different whenever we change them to indirect request uh, now i'll be discussing this individually uh, and then um we're going to try to make sense of all of them together. The idea is to be able to make, uh, to, to take any kind of um, sentence and then change that to a form of indirect request. 
So in this particular lesson, we're going to focus with the first one, with statements. So as we can see, um, statements are quite easy to change, right? We have a statement there, Jeff, Tony is having a party. So that statement, we change it to an end, indirect request. You call, um, maybe uh, maybe Jeff, uh, Jeff the assistant, uh, and uh, you want to give a message to him because he was not available. And then you, you, um, you tell um, the assistant, uh, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? All right, so it's quite easy, right? We just kind of like introduce, could you tell? And here we're going to introduce uh, the person who uh, that message is for. So remember that what you're doing is you're leaving a message with Jeff's assistant. Uh, and then Jeff's assistant will, do, will then give that message to him. So it's quite simple, right? So what we want to do is uh, we want to um, uh, leave um, quite a few messages for Jeff. Uh, and then we want to practice changing those statements into indirect requests. In this case, we're going to practice uh, changing those uh, statements to indirect requests introduced by uh, that. So the first one that we can see there is, okay, Jeff, uh, Tony is having a party. That's the message. Uh, so how would I give the message to the receptionist or to his assistant? Um, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? By the way, the reason you see that in parentheses is because that is optional. That means that you can either say, could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Or you could just include it. You could say, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? So let's write a couple of other um, uh, statements, if you will. All right, And these are messages that I want to give uh, to uh, Jeff's uh, receptionist, right? Uh, let me, I'll change the size a little bit so that you can see that pretty clear. So how do we change this next statement? Jeff, Tony is going to invite everyone from work. All right, so once again, we want to deliver the message. We want to leave the message with the receptionist. So um, could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to invite everyone from work. So basically the only thing that we did um, is if you see this is the message, right? And what we did is we just pretty much sort of like have the same thing. We only added, and I'm going to highlight that in red, we only added, could you tell Jeff that, right? Because that, the message is for Jeff once again, right? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to invite everyone from work? I'll highlight that in yellow so you can see. So this was the only thing that we added. And we're going to do the same thing for other kind of statements. Uh, and so let's play around with other kinds of statements real quick. Um, let's see, something related to a party, right? And we want to give the message to Jeff. All right. Um, Okay, um, so let me change the size a little bit. So, Jeff, Tony is going to have a lot of food and drinks at the party. So, how can we change this to an indirect request or an indirect message? Well, first of all, I mentioned that um, at this point, because everything is directed towards uh, Jeff, uh, we want to say, could you tell Jeff that? And we're simply going to copy this, as you can see, right? And by the way, uh, something that I forgot to do was I just forgot to add this question mark here, right? Okay, there we go. Uh, so it's quite simple as you can see, right? Uh, let's do one more. Um, what's the message? Well, I want to also give another message to Jeff and this message is going to be all right um, Tony is going to have a DJ who is going to play all kinds of music right so once again what is it that we want to do well uh, quite simple we're going to just borrow this could you tell Jeff that all right and we're simply going to just uh, the, the message we don't change much on the message at this point right it's pretty much the same thing. 
Uh, so could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to have a DJ who is going to play all kinds of music, right? That's the message that I want to give to uh, to Jeff. Okay, um, let me go back here. It was not available. So the structures, is everything clear here or do you need me to elaborate more on any of these? Is any of this part of your thing? It is clear. Everything clear, are you sure? We're gonna go one by one, not all at once. So we're gonna start with the statements. So if I say, we are not having class tomorrow, it's a statement, right? How would you say that in, um, in the re request? Did you tell to the class that tomorrow we are, we are not having class? Uh-huh, let's try that. Could you tell not to, because with the verb tell, you don't need to, right? So you need the, the, the object directly so could you tell the class that we're not having classes tomorrow we're not having a class so the statement is we are not having classes tomorrow and the indirect request is what did you say again could you tell could you tell them could you tell could you tell the students, right? That we're not having class tomorrow. That we are not having a class tomorrow. No, we're going to make it singular. Tomorrow. Okay. So simple as this. Here, this is what we're going to do right now. We're simply going to focus on statements. Okay. So let's say some statements, okay? It can be in the past, future, any tense. Help me out. Think of some examples. Any statements, any message. Okay, what about Maybe Sunday? Or the weekend? Sunday or the weekend is going to be rainy. Okay, so it is going to rain on the weekend. Okay, who is this message for? I don't know. You're going to make it up, okay? Another example. What about yesterday? Imagine that you had homework. What would the statement be? Okay, we have homework. Simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another example. Maybe we were working about favors, asking for favors. Uh -huh. We were working on asking for favors, yes. Okay, a message you would tell your mom. I'm not going to board tomorrow. I'm not going to work tomorrow, okay. Could you tell my boss that I'm not going to work tomorrow? <laughs> We're going to get fired. I'm not going to <laughs> work tomorrow. And it's something in the past that um, we, I, I couldn't, this is an excuse. Everything is related to the class. I don't know why. I couldn't be in class last night cause, because I was sick. All right, so you can verbally do this, all right? Take a picture. I would like you to transform it into a, a request of giving a message, okay? With the structure. Remember that using that is gonna be optional and you're not changing the structure of this piece. All right, so practice saying these requests in small groups. You don't need to write them, but I would recommend it if you want to do it, it's okay. So when you finish this, we're gonna finish the class. So let's do that quickly, all right? In small groups of three or two. So accept the invitation, please. Take a screenshot of this. I'll send it just in case. Here we go.
the image is on WhatsApp already, so you're good. You're good to go. Hello. Hello, Leila. Hello, Jose. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. I took the screenshot. We have six statements. The first one is it's going to rain on the weekend. The weekend? Yeah, that could be perfect. And you, Karen? Uh, about the second one, we were working on asking for favors. Uh, could you tell Francisco that we were working on asking for favors yesterday? No, we are discussing we are discussing the statements that the teachers uh, suggest. <laughs> well, that is one example. It's an exercise, I would. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. I didn't, I didn't I didn't understand. Notice. Yeah, it's one of them. <laughs> Could you tell, repeat, please? Okay. Could you tell Ramiro that we were working on a, asking for favors? Okay. Last night. Oh, that's night. That's okay. night. Okay, next one. Could next you one, yes. tell uh, Susana uh, the third example? Yeah. Could you could you tell I'll... Maria could you tell Maria that we were working yesterday and the boss asked for her and the boss Ask for her. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good couple. Nice. Oh, oh colleagues. Colleagues. Uh -huh. colleagues. 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 Okay. Colleagues. 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 Mm -hmm. Colleagues. Yep. Can you then the last one, Gabriel? Okay. Um, well, then, can you write on the WhatsApp group that I couldn't be in class last night because I was sick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, have you finished? Yeah, we're yes. done. Yes. Very good. All righty. Welcome back. The majority finished. So Luke. That was fast. That was fast. <laughs> yeah. Here, you write the statement. Okay, tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Could you tell the teacher Thanks, we don't have a class tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna practice on Monday, right? Okay, we don't have a class tomorrow. Okay, thank you. I got the message. <laughs> So imperative, yes, no questions, and WH questions, we're going to focus on that next class, all right, because the structure is somewhat different. It's going to change. So um, I'll let you go, all right? Thank you for joining me tonight, and I hope you have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you on Monday, right? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy. Bye, everyone. Take care. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.